The Australian Federal Government has introduced legislation designed to reduce the power of trade unions. Especially singled out is the building industry. The Government has created the Australian Building and Construction Commission to police new laws that restrict union officials' access to building sites and curtail building workers' ability to take industrial action. It's empowered to summon workers to secret interrogations, sometimes for simply attending a workplace meeting. At the interrogation, they cannot refuse to answer questions and later they cannot tell anyone, even their immediate family, about what happened. If they uh, refuse to cooperate and refuse to attend an interview or refuse to provide documents under that power, then um, the, the penalty is six months in prison. It's been set up by the proper processes of government. A Royal Commission led to recommendations which were put before Parliament and enacted. The Coal Royal Commission found that the industry was characterised as being singular in its lack of respect for the law. The 2001 Coal Royal Commission took two years to hand down its 23 volumes of findings. These came at a total cost of $64 million. Principally what came out of the Coal Royal Commission was a legislative blueprint for industrial relations in the building industry. He gave them a shroud of legitimacy for some fairly draconian action. You need some sort of cover of respectability to do that, and coal was that cover. With claims of corruption, bribery, standover tactics, heinous crimes against humanity, really. You had to be invited um, to give a, a response to some of the untested allegations that were made in the Royal Commission. Um, the whole thing was a, a terrible farce. Nobody got pinged, they said that there was there was going to be heaps of people, uh, there was money laundering and people on the tape. It was all bullshit, nothing happened. Just utter bullshit. And out of the Royal Commission, how many prosecutions were there? Zero. The ABCC is an active regulator. We investigate contraventions of the legislation. Uh, we prosecute where we find there's a serious contravention. We have inspectors and staff in every state capital. The inspectors are encouraged to get out and about. They are equipped to give advice and assistance to building industry participants. When the Howard government was elected back in 1996, Peter Reef identified uh, the construction industry along with a number of other industries, including maritime, coal and meat industries, as targets for reform. By reform, uh, Reef meant attacking unions and their ability to secure decent wages and conditions. The bus is coming. We know, of course, that against the Maritime Union of Australia, he backed a private company to bring in non-union labour, military-trained security guards and attack dogs. And, of course, in my own industry, we've seen perhaps the most extreme experiment of all, the creation of the ABCC uh, to enforce a government policy which uh, can only be regarded as union busting. The ABCC now has an annual budget of $55 million and employs 120 inspectors across the country. The first time I actually spoke to one of them was uh, he was in my office at the time and he was going through my induction records and I actually walked up to him and said, are you right, mate? What are you looking for? And he goes, oh, no, I'm right, mate. You don't need to know kind of thing. So I said, oh, well, I was just asking, mate. I just thought it was courtesy, you know? And... Uh, from there, his comment was, uh, well, we're right, thanks. Yeah, you haven't really got a leg to stand on. If they want it, they'll take it. I think if the government had widened these powers to, to different industries as well, there would have been a public outcry. But because it's been limited to the building industry, it's remained under the radar. People are worried. Certain stories I've heard is people are very scared. And not only that, but their families are. Their partners are scared. Um, so that's, that's the effect that it's having, is that, is that they're scaring people.